Hello, my people. Hi. Escapism is my love language. Can't you see? Did anyone request this video? Absolutely not. Do I just want to watch the gayest Barbie movie and say it's for content? Yes. <laughs> I thought this outfit looked gay. I think if I'm in the outfit, it's gay. Even if the outfit isn't inherently gay because I'm in it, it is gay. Subscribe if you're new. <laughs> Hello, my people. So as a 22 year old, I only thought it was natural for me to watch Barbie Dolphin Magic in my free time. And I never realized how gay Barbie is. I'm not gonna lie. Even as a kid, I always knew Ken was pretty fruity, but Barbie is too. I think they're each other's beards. Maybe I should script my videos because <laughs> a lot. So I searched what are the gays saying is the gayest Barbie movie and I found that there was one movie that was always ranked the gayest and as a Barbie enthusiast, someone that grew up on Barbie, I want to watch this movie and see how gay it actually is. Do you want to know another thing that's very gay rights? Following me on Instagram because I'm hot. Like this video if I should watch the least gay Barbie movie. Why would I do that? <laughs> So today I'm watching the gayest one, and now I want to watch the straightest Barbie movie. Anyways, I spent four bucks on this movie, so please buy my merch. <laughs> Just kidding, you should buy my merch, but that's gonna be four dollars spent into my self-care, is watching gay Barbie movies. This is gonna be maybe a little unhinged, as all my videos are. Already immediately, there is a little bit of a lack of blue, but the title heart kind of resembles the bi flag. And maybe I'm looking for gay, or maybe it's just there. <laughs> so no men in her photos. Sorry. <laughs> but you laugh anyway. They were already starting out, and there's a duet between two girls, and they're singing about how you know all my jokes. I know there's gonna be some straight person that just wants to be homophobic, and they're gonna be like, oh my god, they were best friends. Historians, yes, would say they were best friends, but I'm gonna say they're not. <laughs> if I could wish. The brunette one kind of looks like me. Is that me? Am I dating Barbie? Hello, my people, brief intermission. This video is kindly sponsored by Banish Acne. Thank you for supporting my dreams of reacting to Barbie content. If you do not know, I had extreme cystic acne only two years ago, and I've kept my skin clear for two years since. It's so important to not let acne control you. Even when you do have acne, it's so important to be kind to yourself, let yourself not wear makeup, and not feel that pressure, and to feel like you are less than when you are showing your acne. But also, it is important to show your acne who is boss. These are two of my favorite products from them. There is the pumpkin enzyme mask and the Vanish Fighter Gel. Don't focus on me. I'm irrelevant. <laughs> when I tell you this Fighter Gel fights that acne. I love these products. There's so many great ingredients in this. Literally the first ingredient on the pumpkin enzyme mask is just pumpkin fruit. So be sure to click the link in the description and use code JESSE at checkout for a little surprise discount for you. And thank you Banish so much. Every time that you support Banish, you are also supporting my channel and your skin and your self care. So thank you Banish. I never want to see her again. Had a fight with Courtney? Can't you two work it out? Oh my God, so here's what I'm getting. They're gonna be like her older sister, gay moms, and they're teaching her all about internalized misogyny. <laughs> Not real friends. Real friends care even if you make a mistake. Not real friends. Not girlfriends. I know a story about best friends. Wherever you go in this world. Now the story starts, but there's kind of this Barbie in the future. Maybe it actually is the same Barbie. I think Barbie's immortal or something. Barbie is immortal, what am I saying? Or she's just got great moisturizer. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, two voices. Instantly, the brunette identifies as bisexual and Barbie is a lesbian because Look at their dress colors. I know Barbie's dress colors aren't completely on spot with the lesbian flag, but there is a lot of pink. How cottage core of them. Okay, I'm three minutes in. Call my name, I'll listen for the Why did there have to be a man in this movie? Out! Everything sounds magical to you, Alexa, because I believe in magic and dreams that come true. Barbie's a top. <laughs> I'm assuming if someone's watching this, they're not a child. I know this is a children's movie, but I'm an adult, okay? She's a top. Oh, watch out for that slippery spot. We're just literally watching two girlfriends. Two perfect hearts. <laughs> okay, I see why this one was right at the gate. <laughs> two hearts, two <laughs> two girlfriends. <laughs> what if we made them into necklaces? Necklaces that have the secret power to grant a wish. Best friends today and, and always. always.
They literally just got engaged. That's what happens when gays propose. Sparkles come out of their hands. You didn't know that? This darkness that's coming, it's a metaphor for homophobia. Maybe if you wish on something magical. Liana, I love it. The perfect match. This engagement just keeps on going. So we've got Liana and Alexa. What would their ship name be? Lilexa? Even if we sell them all, the money will never last us until next growing season. It has to. You know what I would wish for? More. More food, more house. Then we'd never have to worry about another thing ever again. They're touching on it's hard for them to get hired and to not get discriminated in the workplace. Except how insufferable we'd be. Butler, I can't possibly wear all these beautiful dresses. It's horrible. Barbie said, nah, eat the rich. <laughs> I feel connected. Connected. Protected. Protected. I've heard this song. I definitely watched this movie as a child. Explains a lot. Nothing can break this. Nothing can break this tie. Connected and I. <laughs> I love Singing solo. <laughs> <laughs> villain song of the century. I love how we just know she's the villain because her song is in a minor key. <laughs> All to myself. You'll remain trophies I put on my shelf. She collects women. That's kind of gay. The world will be wicked. Wicked. <laughs> Whoever this voice actress is, she killed it. Her rent was due or something. <laughs> I'm like rooting for the villain. That was a great song. Slide up. Bring her to me. Three voices, one song. Are they gonna become a thruple? The girl in the mirror is stuck. She's closeted. These two engaged gays, they're gonna help her out. You have to hide me. He's seen me in the mirror. We have to hide. The dragon is homophobic. Let those girls sing their gay songs. There's nothing left. It's Lydia, his mistress. She must know I have the key. The Diamond Castle, the birthplace of music. I lived there with Dory, Phaedra, and Lydia, the three muses of music. Oh, none of those women are straight. I studied as their apprentice. Lydia wanted to be the one and only muse. With her new powers, she came back. <laughs> I ran, but Slider was chasing me. I hid, but I dropped my whistle, and Slider broke it, trapping me in the mirror. If I play the muse's instruments, I can break her spells. It's the three of us now. So just to summarize this movie, our two leads, uh, girlfriends, they offered their last bread to this old lady that looked like she needed it, even though they weren't too well off themselves, and because it was such a selfless act, she handed over her mirror. There's a girl stuck in the mirror in the closet. The villain wants to find this last princess because she trapped the other two. I think it's symbolic of homophobia. <laughs> Cutest thing. They both got dogs together. They're friends. <laughs> Are their dogs gonna be gay too? Have you seen them? Those good for nothing musicians. Oh, this guy is definitely the homophobia. I was gonna say the homophobic representation. You know what? We don't need homophobic representation in media. This is all the guys that tell me to stop kissing girls in my music videos. That knowing glance, that's us. When we're like, you know Jesse's gonna keep kissing girls in her music videos, right? Don't know where we're going. They are 100% not just best friends. I'm living for this gay pop duo. Right. Hey, men, look away. Look away. Cheeky they are. Taking our place. Not bad for girls. Oh. Oh no. Two maidens were stealing. The men are bad. You wanna know how Barbie really said gay rights? They made the men horrible at singing. Whose singing was magic? He's like off key. They were both so handsome. They were both. <laughs> if these are their love interests, I am coming with a pitchfork in between my. <laughs> I love how they're not impressed. This is their way of being like, we're gay. The dogs don't like it either. What? Hey! That's for leaving without a goodbye. They're just showing how messy the straights are. So the villain found the two girls from halfway through. This movie is so gay. These two girls have never been apart. Without even my subplot thing going on that I keep making up. This movie is so gay. I thought Princess and the Popper was the gay one. And it is. But Princess and the Popper has nothing on this. <laughs> Up we go. 
why did they have the men rescue them? They had the annoying twins that can't sing on key and are apparently F-boys rescue these beautiful gays that just want to live out their cottagecore fantasy. Out. Barbie, I'm disappointed with that one. Your twins. What? No. Mom should have told us. They think they're charming. Rakish. Roguish. Them making fun of those men was so gay. They're like an old married couple. Mind us asking what we've gotten ourselves into? Are these two men gonna be there for the rest of the movie? Because I loved what we created in the beginning where it was like just the two of them against the world. So then this troll comes and attacks the two men for their, I'm assuming, homophobic past. And they're saying, free the men, our favorite girlfriends. They're doing charity work. They wanted to cross my bridge. But there isn't any bridge. Curse there is. If you answer my riddle. Ask us your riddle. What instrument can you hear but can't touch your voice? <gasps> they said raise LGBTQ plus voices. The answer is your voice. Kiss. No, it's not gonna be rainbow. Be done. Turn, be done. It is. Is it real? Yes! This is officially maybe even gayer than my music videos. They're literally about to cross a rainbow together. That man just disappeared. I believe in bi and lesbian visibility and troll invisibility is what they said. Hey, girls, wait for us. We can't. Yes, leave the man. They're literally leaving these men and traveling together on a giant rainbow. It has to deal with their relationship with male attraction. Our lesbian representation here, this is representative of compet, and then our bisexual representation, this is representative of her male attraction is something that she still experiences, but she is in a committed relationship with a woman, and she's accepted that she still has male attraction, but she's committed to her current relationship. So symbolic. Barbie was ahead of its time. Meet us at the Seven Stones! Literally leaving behind men on a rainbow. That's how we travel. What's wrong with that picture? <laughs> What's wrong with that picture? <laughs> These men are so intimidated by these independent fiancés that are really just living their best gay life. I love that we finally left the men and now we have our two girls again. This mansion, it's beautiful. You've come at last. This is all yours. Everything. It's just as the legend foretold. We can't stay. Maybe we can come back after we take Melody to the Diamond Castle. If we come back. Trolls, serpents, evil magic. We may not live to come back. We promised Melody- They're having their first fight. Let Ian and Jeremy do it. <laughs> Let the men do it. <laughs> I agree with her. You don't mean that. Stay with me. Stay with me. The delivery in that line. Kind of spicy. Why us? Why can't somebody else do it? Because Melody's our friend. Alexa is like, gay rights, but also why do we have to be the ones to start change? Why do we have to educate all of them? We're already an oppressed group. Wow. Profound. You're choosing Melody over me. <gasps> She's feeling a little jealous. Honestly, I agreed. In the beginning when she was like, I want to sing with you guys too, I was like, no, let them have their songs. I think they should teach you to sing, but then you should go on your own and find your own partner to sing with. No, uh, it's not like that. We are going to the Seven Stones. <laughs> So the villain gets our bicon, <laughs> Alexa, and hypnotizes her. Where is she? Going to the Seven Stones. Stones? Stonewall? Honestly, Shader's off the charts right now. I think she's got horrible internalized homophobia, so she's just letting that out on everyone. Alexa! Let my friends go. The key first, and show me where the castle is. Okay. Meet me outside, Slider. I feel like the dragon is fetishizing them. <laughs> They're reading it to the so much. I'm not even judging if the Barbie movie's gay at this point. I'm rewriting the narrative. I declared about four minutes into that this movie is incredibly gay, but I think I was absolutely sold when they left men and uh, floated away on a rainbow together. Alexa, wake up! <laughs> 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 Nothing like a sad ending. <gasps> Gay always perseveres. Yes. These are two opposite ends of the spectrum. Girl that's stuck in the closet, but is slowly learning to embrace herself. And then someone that has such bad internalized homophobia that she's just like, gays. What a beautiful story. Why did I ever leave? 
we were both wearing the necklaces when Lydia couldn't mesmerize us. Where are we? In trouble. But then, what else is new? I'm so sorry, Liana, about everything I said. Me too. So the men rescue the girls again, but not before the girls share a very gay moment together. So at least we did get that. If they end up together, yeah, they're suing my face. These men are here only to save our girls. They serve no other purpose in my brain. That was definitely Nickelback that she just played on the flute. <laughs> How did you? Do you believe in magic? It's the engagement necklaces. <laughs> My flute, now, or I break the mirror. Then she never gets out. Don't do it. You sound like someone who wants to stay in there forever. <gasps> someone that wants to stay in there forever. What an insane closeted metaphor. I will to stop you. She outed herself, no. Pathetic child. Those dogs have like an insane IQ. I knew that they were smart and useful when they instantly disapproved of the men. <laughs> The men have gotten over their weird and homophobic past, got rid of the dragon, who is fetishizing these queer girls. With that in mind, they're okay now, but they will not be dating. Good girls. Both the dogs are girls, even the dogs are gay. The sun is going down, but the diamond castle rises. Melody's song is the key. Your song will hold the key. See that magical land that they're looking at on the other side? That's West Hollywood. <laughs> Wait, this is their wedding! Also, Barbie's dresses are literally the lesbian flag right now. I told you, lesbian by solidarity. She's out of the closet. I'm gonna cry! dogs transform? Was that a transformation? Because they look the same. I guess the dogs just wanted to sparkle. Everyone's just like getting on their fancy outfits for the gay wedding. What a beautiful venue they chose. If we play the instruments now, the muses will come home. No, she's back. She's trying to crash the wedding. Her internalized homophobia is that bad. She's playing Nickelback again. That was Ed Sheeran. They just played Kehlani. Me making my gay music videos. I just have a force field of gay. Make it stop! Make it stop! She's frozen in her prehistoric ways of homophobia. They're like, get with the time. The villain was just frozen to stone. And they're just like, they really girl boss gaslight in. Oh my god, the older gays are back. Liana, Alexa. They're literally having their wedding. I'm done. <laughs> Did I predict this whole movie? We anoint you princesses of music. They're literally getting married. We anoint you. I'm like dying. They're like passing on the gay crown and they're like, we're ready to retire from our gay club. And they're handing it on to this young engaged couple. What a beautiful thing. You are no longer an apprentice. You are a true muse. That's typical. When you come out, you tend to just be given a flute. I actually played the flute. <laughs> Maybe it was a sign. You now replace Lydia as the third muse. I love how they shaded the other They're like, you never replaced Lydia. <laughs> Oh, some finger tapping? As a guitarist, I have to respect. Should I learn that guitar solo? It's not even a solo, it's him just doing tons of techniques. Will you stay with us? We can have rooms near each other. Once I would have said yes in the blink of an eye, but now I just want my old home back. We want our cottagecore lifestyle back. They're dancing with the men. It's just for fun. Goodbye. Farewell. They're leaving the men. They're leaving the men to get off social media and just bake bread in the woods. What a goal. I'll come visit. 
I'm assuming from this, they're rich for life now. They own a lot of stock for this gay company or whatever it is, or club, or I don't know. Have made enough money for the rest of their lives, but they don't choose the rich lifestyle. Instead, they just choose to live in the woods and just be gay and not have to work. Beautiful. It literally ends with just the two of them in their cottage core house. It's them. That was 100% the gayest Barbie movie and no one can convince me anything in that movie was straight. Except for maybe the two seconds they danced with men, but then they left it all to be cottagecore gays. I was fully expecting for this still to be considered the gayest Barbie movie ever, but for them to like end up with the men, but the way that the girls act is still super gay, but literally they end up together. I thought Princess and the Popper was the gayest Barbie movie, but there is no denying that movie was so insanely gay. That was gayer than I expected. I'm not kidding. Anyways, my people, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want more videos like this, what I should do next in the comments. I'm gonna feature your pages on the screen, because I'm Jesse Page, and your posts. And remember, the goal is get rich so that you never have to work again, and then move to the woods and be gay. And that is a message I can stand by. Me and who? Okay. <laughs> I love you, bye!